ABC 10 News at 6 starts now. The Omicron variant appears to cause milder symptoms than Delta, and new research from San Diego scientists is helping explain why. Good evening. I'm Kimberly Hunt. Steve has the night off. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why Omicron is less severe. I feel like I've been I've just gotten like back to back variants. San Diegan Patrick McCoy is in quarantine with COVID again. The fully vaccinated stand up comedian had a breakthrough case in August that kept him out of work for nearly a month. Aches, fever, chills, extreme exhaustion. Yeah, I could barely get out of bed like for like a week and a half with the first time I had COVID. Then around Christmas, he tested positive again, but this time with much milder symptoms that McCoy can joke about. If it keeps tracking like this with new variants, I think I'm on schedule to get like COVID every four months now. Hopefully not, but his experience tracks with the latest data on Omicron. Infections and reinfections are at record highs, but a study in the UK found the risk of hospitalization from Omicron is 62% lower than with Delta. There's no doubt that this virus is different biologically from others. They are all different from each other because they behave differently. But this one I think is the most different we've seen so far. UC San Diego's Dr. Robert Schooley says there are a few factors that could be making Omicron Omicron less severe. The first involves the virus itself. A study in Hong Kong found Omicron replicates much faster than Delta in certain parts of our airways, but 10 times slower in our lungs, which is where the virus can cause life-threatening breathing problems. It still grows enough to be transmitted, but because it doesn't induce as much inflammation, the inflammatory response that makes people really sick isn't getting them into the hospital. The other factor has to do with our immune memory. Scientists at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology sent experiments to labs in South Africa, Switzerland, and other countries. In a series of new papers, they found that even though Omicron can escape most of the antibodies from vaccines, it doesn't escape our trained white blood cells. What we found is that uh, the uh, T cells are largely unaffected. There were some decreases, but well in excess of 80, 85 percent of the reactivity was retained. Dr. Alessandro Setti says T cells are your second line of defense. They won't prevent infection like antibodies can, but they can keep mild symptoms from getting worse. Well, we looked at the Moderna, uh, Pfizer, uh, J&J. We found uh, similar behavior uh, regardless of what vaccine the different people had taken. Ultimately, scientists say it's not clear if the drop in hospitalizations from Omicron is from our cellular defenses, a change in the variant, or some combination of the two. But they say a booster clearly helps. That day where I got COVID, I was actually signing up to get my booster. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.